miles of you don't wonder where we're going or remember where we've been we've got to keep this traffic flowing and accept the Sacramento to the freeways of LA. We've got to keep this fire burning and accept a little rain. So this long line of cars is trying to break free. And this long It's just not working out, Phil. You're not happy with us. We're not happy with you. I'm sorry, but uh, how do you know I'm not happy with you? I read what you write. It's between the lines. You're firing me for subtext. You're not being constructive. I don't find this to be a very constructive experience. <clears throat> Let's not burn any bridges, Phil. from the, the, the stranger. You can't get any lower. Did I ever leave that job in Memphis? <clears throat> to fall in love with me. Hmm? Asshole. It's going to kill me. Come on, pick up the phone. Pick up, pick up, pick up. 
So, you got sacked? You leaving town? I should. Answer my question. No, no. I've got Emily and, and there's... Good. We need to talk. Meet me at the Comet in 20 minutes. And don't be late. They say it's called the Comet because one landed here once, but do comets land, ma'am? Oh, bravo. Free at last. You did it. Don't even start. No, seriously, corporate employment is as dead as the old world order. You should thank Nick for pulling the scales off your eyes. Mm. The usual. Why weren't you at the cha-cha last night? Dude, the Murder City Devils destroyed it without murder. Murder City who? Are they uh, local? Oh, my God. Are you are you serious right now? Fuck me, man. What do you listen to, Celine Dion? No wonder they sacked you. Hey, where's his tomato? Come on. You know what? It, it's fine, all right? It's fine, because, because I'm coming to a really, really big decision, and I want you to be the first to hear about it. The city council primaries? I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm serious. It's because of this guy, huh? Richard MacGyver. He has got to go down. He's awful, and, and no one with, like, three working brain cells is stepping up to run against him. So, I'm going to. Now, oh, you think this is funny? Oh. What? Come on, no, I, I, I gotta show you what? a thing or two. Grant, Grant. Hey! Come on! Yeah. Fuck. I hate downtown. There, there, there are never any parking meters, ever. You didn't get a ticket. Yeah, yep, thanks to MacGyver and his henchmen. And how long have you harbored this grudge for the guy? Since forever. But, but you've never mentioned it? I was waiting for things to hit critical mass, and look, there it is. There, there it is. That? Yeah, that. Key to my electoral strategy, my, my victory. All right, great, can we go home now? A promise from the 1960s, Phil, from the World's Fair, from before we were born. A super-ass modern mass transportation system that was to have spread its wings all over the city, barely touching the neighborhoods it was to pass over. And you know why? Look at the base. Smaller than a taco stand. But there's only one stop in the middle of nowhere downtown. Two idiot miles long to a really useful space needle. But it's electric and elegant as shit. A miraculous machine. And listen, silent, right? Like the breeze, like, like magic. But most important of all, it's cheap. And you want to know how many times MacGyver and his fucking fuck goons have voted it down? So they could build whatever the shit they wanted, stealing millions off all those good folk living right down there. You know how many times? A zillion. To make money from building those. See, highways that have bisected and trisected our beautiful city. And now they want to build on the ground, right in the middle of all of our traffic jams, a heavy fucking tank train system. Exactly. Which they call light rail, since of course they're lying about that too. They steal and cheat. And over here, huh? They're, they're buying up land. From, from there to there. Come on, Phil. To there. there and, oh, no, and, and all the way, all the way over here. Phil, they're just, they're cutting our city into pieces. And even worse. Oh, look at her. Look at her, Phil. She's so beautiful. This is what we need to say right here. And you want to know the first thing that I do when I get elected? I'm going to walk into the city chambers in my beautiful white fur. I will not be made a victim of your cowardly ways. Never. Save the polar caps. Build the monorail. Save the planet, you fucks. Does it matter to you that you have no experience in politics? I'm a journalist. People respect that. You're an unemployed music critic. People know the difference. All right. Y you know what? I'm running in the, in the primaries, and then I'm going to get myself into that general election, and then I'm going to win this thing. And you know what else, Phil? You're going to do it with me. It, it's the reason you got fired. It's destiny. It is. Have you ever wondered exactly when it was that you first lost your mind? <laughs> What's so funny? Have you even considered that MacKyver's black? And? And he's like the only black city councilman. <laughs>
Okay, so what? What are, what are we, practicing reverse racism now? No, I'm practicing my power of thinking. I mean, Grant is white and he's unqualified. He's bombastic. You know what? It's not funny. It's embarrassing. I mean, Grant's going to get laughed out of the primaries, and so are you. Why are you even doing this? Does it matter? Okay, so you got fired, so now you can just say fuck you to everyone. You're smart. Thanks, Dad. I don't tell you that enough. I am gonna run Grant Coxwell's city council campaign! It's a Grant Coxwell! Oh, 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 city council! Oh, wow. Election? What is that, dude? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're my campaign manager. You're the one who sent out all those emails. Where's at least somebody? You were supposed to follow up with... I hate this chair. It hurts my back. Why, why would you have chairs like this in your coffee shop? Um, it's not my coffee shop. Fix this, Phil. Fix it. You look like a politician when you uh, storm off like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, waitresses, they vote too, you know. I hate these shoes. I need better arch support. Look at this. Huh. Look at this. People whine and bitch about traffic all day long, but do they think of a way out? Huh? You screw mass transit for the working class and you screw it for the entire system. The suckage trickles up. I mean, MacGyver's flushing Seattle down the toilet, and he doesn't even know it. Hey, doesn't this suck, huh? Doesn't it? Doesn't this suck? Look at where you're sitting right now, huh? get out there. Look at what we've get done to here. each other. Doesn't this awful traffic go to get you to action, huh? Huh? Would you like to support my campaign to solve mass transit? Doesn't this suck? Get out of here, Grant. monorail your monorail we can have it across the city in in five years if even that and and it'll pay for itself in less than a seattle heartbeat and and yet macgyver wants a debacle that'll cost a fortune why does he want this for the greenbacks my fine feathered friends to plump his already pot belly money hungry construction pimps that fill up his campaign coffer they call it light rail. What, what does that even mean, light rail? My butthole. It's crazy lies. Lies on top of lies. So he'll continue to rape this city, but I love this place. I, I love it. I love it so much that I've carved its seal onto my arm. So give me your endorsement. Rise above it all. We can't offer you our endorsement. But nobody cares about your monorail more than I do. In fact, I, I'm the only one who showed up to this little function thing of yours today. That's gotta mean something. Which is why we can't risk what little influence we have on fringe politics. Fri it. Fringe politics. You, you, you mean politics that don't compromise? That speak the truth? Which is the only way to beat them, Claire? Not, not by playing into their conniving little fingers like lambs to the slaughter. Mm. Please help us. We can do this. I can do this. Otherwise, you guys are just another fucking social club on a list, sucking each other off. For the, oh, okay, all right, all right, listen. Just, can, can, I, can I just, can we just use your name in public? <laughs> Absolutely not. What a fucking bitch! Wow. You know, Grant, you talk a lot of shit. What we need to do is embrace our position. We're the little guys. People like the little guys. It's more satisfying when they win. Then why do incumbents always get reelected? Because they stack the cards in their favor. No, they rig the fucking system, man. 
They choose how much money you can spend, what the jurisdictions are. They even got those little voter pamphlets rigged. What are you talking about? The voter pamphlets, you know, the, the things that they send out in the election, you know, or, or polls and shit. They even got the little government stamp on it and everything. Only in Seattle, you can't say anything about the incumbent in it. You, you can't even mention the incumbent's name. It's the law. It's a joke. You sure about this? That's why I verbalized it. We're being gagged here, man. You know, when I worked in Memphis, it was for this Alt Weekly that let me dig into all kinds of stuff. Man, that city was so messed up. Poverty, corruption, cronyism. The cops were a bunch of racist hicks still into Jim Crow, but no one cared. You know what I did? My back hurts, can we just go? I sued him. I took him to court and I won. Twice. You got a coat? Ty? So Seattle itself has demonstrated a targeted and intentional bias toward limiting the political effectiveness of candidates who wish to challenge incumbents. Here's a voter pamphlet from uh, last year's city council election in San Francisco. You'll notice a place for candidates to put pros and cons, reasons why they think they should be elected and why the incumbent totally frickin' sucks. Same with Los Angeles yes. and New York. And even Dallas fucking Texas. I mean, but Seattle, West Coast liberal progressive Seattle, guess what? 10, ten years ago, the, uh, the Seattle City Council passed an ordinance forbidding candidates from mentioning their opponents in their voter pamphlet statements. It's total bullshit, just bullshit. It's, they've, they've rigged the whole tottering system to stay in power. Well, I'm sure you're making a valid point and we'll get it's it. Not, it's not just that. It's the, the incumbent can say whatever the hell he wants. He can brag, he can manipulate, lie about his resume, his voting record. He even fuck his fucking purple pet parakeet and grill it in the microwave for breakfast. But can a challenger target these inane insanities? Can he expose it in the one document that most voters actually read? No! Fuck. Sorry. Uh, now, um, correct us if we're wrong here, but... Isn't restricting our ability to comment upon matters of public record a violation of the First Amendment? Some would say you're using this lawsuit to take advantage of the free media. Well, it's, it's true that um, every candidate who's challenging an incumbent wants as much exposure as possible. It's too important for the people to be exposed to all ideas. Brilliant, constructive, idiotic. Exposure, it's, it's an issue that affects every candidate in, in, in every part of the city. Get out! Uh, I, I, see, this, this is really me. important in every position, not just me. Uh, f uh, for those of you that, uh, that don't know, Grant is... Uh, something different. <laughs> um, different is, is good, right? So, um, <clears throat> Grant Cogswell. <laughs> Mass transit is a social justice issue. MacGyver pimping his light rail plan, the sound you really hear is that of a giant toilet flushing away the city's underclass. I mean, he'll never build this so-called light rail because it's, it's just a giant ploy. A train five times the size of any trolley, it'll never stop even close to fast enough. It'll, it'll run over children and, and cats and dogs <laughs> until they have to put up Heavy fences and walls, and there goes the neighborhood, folks. While MacGyver and his buddies will be living in fancy mansions driven into the city by limos. And we'll all be stuck in a hell of noise, litter, and danger. I'll, I'll uh, take any questions. 
if there are any. My name's Grant Cogswell, um, so if you have any questions. Um, we, uh, we need contributions and, you know, we need volunteers. Um, you know, we can't do this on our own, so if, uh, you know, any, anything, um, would, uh, This is grassroots, folks. These guys are the underdogs because everything they're saying is not packaged or scripted or paid for by big business. Now, here's a guy who actually believes in something. When's the last time you saw a politician do that? So let's give him every penny we got. Volunteer. Let's see if this crazy son of a bitch can actually get some good done in this city for once. Right? Well, I think you actually made a smart move in this thing, no matter what people are saying. Um, what exactly are, are people saying? You got fired. Pissed off your boss. Now you got a credibility problem. But if you can get a no-name clown like Grant, decent numbers in the primary, there are people who pay for that. Really? I've been covering city council elections on the weekly for, like, forever. So even if you think all this sounds like bullshit, lunch is on you, by the way. <laughs> lunch, right. Well, how do we get decent numbers? Stay above the fray. Ignore the other candidates. Fire only at MacGyver. If you're running Grant as a populist, make him look like one. Have a crowd of volunteers around him wherever he goes. An entourage. Right, the, uh, the entourage strategy. And never look like you don't have an answer. If someone asks you something that stumps you, ask him to repeat the question. It buys you time to think. If I make you look like W. Could you repeat the question? MacGyver's smart. He's witty, he's friendly, but he's not gonna have a lot of volunteers. He'll have money, which you won't. So, you gotta start aggressive. Pitch grant to all the papers. Strange if you don't. Uh, it's unusual for Mr. Fredericks to see someone who drops by unannounced. But he won't return my calls. I can give you his voicemail. Look, what I can offer you is my silent support. More than that, simply isn't conducive to my own platform. Okay. Um, how, how do you plan to support us silently? We're grateful to be aware of your candidate's position, but the King County Labor Council is already pledged its support to Mr. MacGyver. Can you explain to me why you would do that? MacGyver's record on labor is only passable at best. Sorry. <clears throat> Thank you. My name is Phil Campbell, and Grant's running against Mr. Richard MacGyver. Your name is Phil Campbell? Afraid so. Don't you write for The Stranger? Yeah, uh, wrote, uh, past tense. Really? Why? Uh, you remember the Aaron Roberts shooting, right? This is the guy who dug up all that dirt on the police oversight committee. And they fired you? I could tell you about it, but uh, then you might quote me. <laughs> what are these? Uh, I'm uh, running Grant Cogswell's campaign for city council. Grant Cogswell? Isn't he that uh, music critic who's suing the city? He's got quite a temper, doesn't he? He's a, he's a very passionate guy. Well, if circumstances should change, I've got a reporter heading on maternity leave in a couple of weeks. That's amazing. <gasps> when do you start? Uh, could you repeat the question? I'm stalling. It's a political trick. Buying time by making the other person ask you again. Okay. And you start. Well, uh, I have to tell Grant first, but um, the guy gave me till Tuesday to make a final decision. So it is gonna kill Grant. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, Grant's psychotic, Phil. And you're playing in his delusions of grandeur by pretending with him that he's running for office. I mean, that's what's killing Grant. I, I understand. <clears throat> I know. You're right. Of course. I, I've had my fun. Well, I know this is hard. No, it's okay. First thing tomorrow. It's done. It's done. <laughs> I'm not nervous. 
I didn't say you were. You're implying it by asking how I'm doing, and I don't appreciate that kind of affront to my confidence. It makes me nervous. Look at my hands. <sighs> MacGyver's gonna be here today. It's part of his job. He must go down. He must go down. Right, you're gonna stay on point, though, right? Grant, only local issues, no big talk about multinationals and sweatshops. Leave me alone about it. The greed of those at the top has always affected the lives of those less fortunate those less willing to steal with impunity. And that's why I want to ensure that our police and firefighters have better training equipment. We need to keep safe those that keep us safe. Who did you vote for president in 2000? I did not vote for George Bush. That's not answering the question. That's Parnell Alden, fool of all fools. He once tried to punch me out. I gave it to him, though. I'm sure he did. He's nine points ahead of you in the polls. I voted for the candidate in the first that, that's, that's, that's the asshole. Look at him, just completely oblivious. Just like his leadership style. And next on our list is an incumbent, Richard McIver. No, no, stop. Good evening. How's everyone? Good looking group you are. This primary brings us into a new millennium. Now, whether that's meaningful or just another date on the calendar depends on what we want Seattle to be, upon our ability to choose our future willfully and with our eyes open. Now, how do we prepare for this? I have had the privilege of being in position on city council to watch as our perspective on the future has changed over the years and change radically. Am I right, guys? I mean, not to mention the forces that are at play whenever we try to peer into that future. Forces that I grapple with daily as a city council member. You know, he doesn't seem like an asshole. Time. That's what assholes do. They, they get you by not seeming like Decisions assholes. Decisions we make today will have long-lasting impact. Did you know he'd be this good at it? Actually, this is the first time I've seen him up close. About expanding State Route 520 over Lake Washington. How far do we push development at the expense of our own environment? There's a question. Do we want to be a city of automobiles, huh? Or are we willing to make the necessary sacrifices to bring about true mass transportation? God, he's so full of shit. Look, there's the bitch. They're all here. With tourists. These are difficult choices, but with choices comes opportunity. Okay? Thank you for listening. Uh, oh, oh, and I would appreciate your vote. <laughs> so I'd like to see you all at the polls, all right? Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. The 36th District will now hear a statement from candidate Grant Cogswell. Hi, my name's, my name's Grant Cogswell. I'll be running in the primaries for city council position number eight, Mr. MacGyver's seat. Jesus Christ, with choice comes opportunity? What, what opportunity to expand the 520 bridge? We can't do it. I grew up in, in the area where the I-90 freeway was expanded, and, and look at it, it's a mess of dirt, grime, litter, pollution, it's criminal. And you know it. MacGyver talks about wanting uh, to provide equal opportunity for all of Seattle. What the hell is he talking about when he supports ideas like these? He's totally in bed with the construction bozos, which is why he's pushing for this so-called light rail, which, by the way, is, is just a, a brave new world doublespeak for a hundred ton heavy rail catastrophe. Sorry, it just... Mass transit is a social justice issue, folks. 
You provide a safe, reliable way for someone to get from home to work, and what you're really doing is providing a safe, reliable way for that person to earn a living, to connect with others, to live a life of community that includes all of us, not just the rich. MacGyver talks about uh, uh, the committee to approve the committee that approves other committees. What? This is just off the charts awful. You're one of those committees. Extend the monorail. Elegant and inexpensive, the monorail beautifies the neighborhoods it serves. It brings humanity to the fore. And anyone who opposes that might as well be the devil as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Mr. Come Coxwell. Go. Now I'd like to bring up my neighbor, uh, Jim Charleston. Fuck. I, I fucked up. I called him the devil. That was so stupid. Uh, somebody's gonna quote that. Somebody's gonna quote that. God, this is over. The whole thing is... Oh, it's over. God, why did I say that? I was so sweaty out there. Why, why was it so hot in there? Man, this, this is stupid. Did you hear me? I said... I sounded like Nixon. Uh, first off, no one is going to quote you. Yes, they Grant, no one is going to quote you because there were no political reporters in there. Trust me, I looked. And I actually thought you sounded pretty no, good. No, I didn't. No, don't. Don't do that. Don't. Don't lie to me. Fuck. Oh, and, and, and MacGyver. What, what the hell was that? He, he sounded like angels were coming out of his mouth. It's not. He's got a whole team of, of guys that are writing his speeches for him. It's. Hey. Um, so, so that's Grant, and, and that's Phil. Guys, this is Kevin and Willis. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm really awful with names. Oh, no sweat. I'm Wayne. We met at the rally in the alley. We handed out your flyers. Me too. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the Che Guevara t-shirt? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Dude, Grant, that speech was just, like, so fucking awesome, man. It was just, like, Grant is the only one who's willing to stand up to MacGyver and say, like, fucking stop and spewing bullshit. 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 MacGyver is fucking, out there just, like, yeah. saying lies, 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 bullshit. Just in the air, and Grant's just, like, like shooting it down, like, truth, awesome. truth, this truth. Totally Why don't you spew truth days, and fucking, we you know, know, hold my hair back while I just spew truth? That's a good slogan. You should have seen it. He was possessed, Em. Applause, everything. I can't do it. I can't, I can't walk out on him. I can't. Right, but you can walk out on being a writer. And the Weekly is a great place for you. <laughs> Fuck the stranger. I thought you wanted us to not live like college students anymore with six roommates. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. to do what I believe in. And Grant is what you believe in? <laughs> cool. Grant, you got to keep fucking walking. Hey, if you don't sign this, you're a douche. You got a second? I just want to ask you about Grant volunteering, Grant Cogswell. Hey, you guys are doing great, by the way. Thank you, my dad, for not signing this. Hi, how are you? Can you help us? Can we just get a minute of your time? Grant Cogswell, thank you. Hi. How are you? Can you help us? Can we just get a minute of your time? Grant Cogswell, thank you. Hi. You like politics? Um, no. I don't like politics either. They're fucking bullshit. And I'm going over there as well, so this really works out. There's this one politician though, Grant Cogswell. He's fucking awesome. He's like, he's like teaching all the other politicians to like have a heart and feel and love. He's sort of like the Wizard of Oz if he were all the characters from it. Well, what do you want me to do? Oh, um, if you could just sign this, and I also need your phone number, and then I can just let you know about political rallies, elections, and just like non-political endeavors. Cogswell for president. Let's get him in the White House.
it's uh, laced with speed because it's speed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What are you doing in my room? What time is it? Hi. It's me. Oh my god. Have you heard? Yeah. Horrible. What do you know? Nothing. Just the same as you. And we're just watching the news. No. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. I'm gonna go. Stupid motherfuckers. Don't they know we got nukes? They picked the wrong motherfucking country. Where the hell are you? We're, we're supposed to be talking to the leash law people right now. Turn on your television. I don't have a TV. You've been to my house 800 times. What is this? Are you coming to pick me up or not? You need to get over here now. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Hey. Hey. I know. 
Me too. Pretty much impossible to get out of bed this morning, right? I mean, how many times do we gotta see those buildings come? And then there's those, all those people, the, the innocent lives and families. I mean, how do we keep a campaign going? I don't think, I don't think we can. Except, um, I promised a guy last night that I'd go give blood. And so I went over to the Red Cross. And the line, the line was... The line was around the block. All us poor, stupid people, because who are we going to give our blood to? And then there's the flags. The flags everywhere. And I, I got to admit, you know, I, I didn't like, I didn't like the flag. I just. I mean, what was it invented for? For us to salute to, like we're a bunch of eighth graders, or, or to go off to war under, like Vietnam and Pearl fucking Harbor? What do we do now? Nuke somebody? Who are we supposed to kill? And then, I don't know, you know, I just, I start thinking about this little monorail. And, uh, and I start to kind of know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And that's to put one foot in front of the other and say no to the terrorists and say no to the, to the, to the violence and, and the destruction of things and, and, and say yes to the building up of something. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter. And when someone asks you why, why now? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I guess you got to tell them this, that there's, that there's never been a more important time to set aside fears and, 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 and selfishness and, and reach out to somebody. Just reach out and participate in some genuine, life-changing action. What do you mean your TVs don't work? I already told Grant I was having trouble with the satellite. Uh, we'll have to get the results off a laptop then. Well, you don't use the internet for a minute or so because you got to run credit cards through that phone line. Don't set your laptop by the bar. Some idiot can spill on it and I'll get blamed for it. No problem. Okay, Sandy, we just need a couple more. Good, I caught you during a slow jam. Um, there's a problem by the door. What, what, what do you just mean? come by the door. Okay, there's, there's Sandy, guy we'll here. Up by that door, like, okay? This right? guy, he's kind of like a gothic William Wallace. Like, did you see sorry, that movie sorry, Braveheart? Sorry, sorry. He's like the meanest DJ I've ever seen. Right here? Yeah. Hi, hi, is there a problem? There sure is a problem. 
Tommy booked me to DJ my debut set at 9 o'clock. So what are you doing here, Tommy? What the fuck's going on? It's no big hey, deal. They're, they're hosting some election thing. They'll be out of here by 9. Whoa, Tommy. No, we won't. It's an election. The results don't even come in until 9. There's no way then we're going to be out of that? here by 9. I'm booked at 9 o'clock. I got a flyer that says so. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but so what? You have a fly? We have flyers. You want, you want to see our flyers? Yeah. Show them our flyers. flyers. Tommy, what's going flyers. on? Hey, they're not all... Are you... Taking your crowd, man. I'll get some volunteers to bang their heads. They have to do what I say for school credit. What about the Pixies band? Fuck the Pixies. Hey, hey, Phil. Phil. Hey. <laughs> your idea? Absolutely. What an interesting night, huh? Have you seen the raw data? I've been a little preoccupied. Yeah, well, a bit unpreoccupied. Excuse me. Excuse me. Shit. Tommy! Hey, Tommy! Hey, can I use the internet? I need to get online. I need to check. I have to check the results. I have to pay some bills. Who's going to hand out the paraphernalia? Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Wait, I, just, what? I need you to do this with me, please. Please, 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 just sit down. I need you to do this. I need you to just keep keep clicking on this button. Wait, wait, wait. Open up. We need to hit the net. Okay, in order to get the results. Yeah, again, again, just keep... Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. like a monkey. Right. I know. Yeah, Phil Campbell here with Cogswell Campaign. Just checking, did, did we get 10% to qualify? Uh, I, got I got something. I got something. Never mind. What does this have? What is this? Okay. Phil, uh, Phil, 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 Phil. What? Oh, what? So some what? people were trying to get a circle pit going, What's right? What's a circle pit? We, what? Oh, it's like a mosh pit, but it's in a circle, like to be safer. And then like Willis like punched a guy, and then the guy's like, um, you don't do that to me. Okay. And then Willis like he's got some dad issues, okay. right? And so then I think it just like reminded okay. him. Okay. Back okay. Okay. Wayne. 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 I'm like, coming. Boom. I'm deal boom. With it's like did you see Rocky? And imagine if both the guys were Apollo Creed, but they were both small and white. Teresa, will you keep dealing with The numbers started coming up, but it got kicked off. I think the lines missing. Who to trust anymore? This is a political figure coming through, getting in the way of democracy. Phil, I got you. I'll protect you. You can hey, your music is great. Love your music. Everyone, put the violence at the stage. Fuck! This is how people listen to music. You can't listen with just your ears. You gotta listen with your whole motherfucking body. Please leave me 
message. Damn it. Are you kidding? Politics! Politics, bitches! This is how you fucking run a campaign! You fucking... I'm writing it in my blood! Someone give me a razor so I can write it in blood! It's the blood of the fucking innocent! You just all proved them wrong! Cause it's grassroots politics, folks! Grassroots in all its glorious, wild fucking bloom, breaking it all up! The concrete and the asphalt and the lies! And the lies! And the lies. Pretty stunned here, actually. We? I'm at the office. Get the fuck over here. You're missing the party. We did it. Yeah. We actually fucking did it. Em, hey, are you are you okay? What's Em, what's wrong? Emily. Nothing. Um fine. It's just um. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It's weird, but it amazing too. I understand. Uh, Look, where uh, where are you? I'll I'll come to you. Are you are you at the office? No, don't come to the office. Hi, there you are. Way better than the rebar. I can finally hear myself think. You gotta come over though. Experience the love. Well, congratulations. You've done something truly amazing here. Oh please, you hate Grant. You think I've unleashed a monster? <laughs> You like MacGyver better. I don't know MacGyver. I, don't, I just know what I've been through because of your desire to like throw the guy out of office. Have you even noticed like what's happened to the house? Did you know that on Monday I walked in and two volunteers are fucking on the kitchen floor? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I mean, I'm not a prude, Phil. No, I, I, I know. I know. And there's something wonderful about this thing that you've harnessed here. I mean, it's... it's Brilliant, actually. All right, look, it's just a few more weeks in. Okay? And then they'll be out of our house forever. But what if you win, Phil? Have you given that any thought? I don't even want to have this conversation with you tonight. But, um... One of our staff officers is moving, and... She needs someone to take over her lease. Wait. Phil, I haven't been able to work home in weeks or get any sleep and I talked to our landlady she's willing to prorate my lease until you can find someone new so I'm not leaving you in the lurch are you breaking up with me Phil are you even listening to me this new place it's on Queen Anne it's it's exactly the neighborhood you've always talked about it's got great views of the sound and like real space you know I finally have some money so yeah no I, I know you do Emily and you do hate Grant, and you do love MacGyver, and you do think you know exactly what is right for me right now. So, that's not true. Only I've proved you wrong. I've proved that I'm actually good at this campaign stuff and smart as hell, and that is just too much for you. It's too much for me? Mm -hmm. Really? Is that what it is? It's too much for me that you may knock off a perfectly qualified and honest representative because you can, because he's black and vulnerable. It's too much for me that, like, whatever conscience I know you once had is seemingly evaporated. Have you even thought about who you've had to draw out of the woodwork to vote against a black guy? I'm sorry. I am. I'm... I should have given you this night, I'm... I'm sorry.
Tommy, Tommy, go. Something strong. The bot, just the bottle. If anyone deserves it, buddy, it's you. Oh, I'm gonna have to charge you by the shot, but I'll put it on the DJ's tab. Congratulations. Standing tall, are we? Do you know what this is? Monorail Ladies Greatest Hits. Mm -hmm. Addresses, phone numbers. Every person in the city who loves your monorail and hates that heavy light rail system. The ones who vote. 30,000 names. You win with this. It took me two years to compile it. So tell me you know how to use it. I know how to use it. Tommy! Yo! Madame? Yeah, thanks. So, uh, so you're endorsing Grant then? <laughs> Are you kidding? Grant is out of his mind. But here he is in the general election with a real shot at bringing the monorail to Seattle. Cheers. Don't tell him where it came from. Unless, of course, he wins. Want to dance? What? You want to dance with me? Hello? You need to come over right now. Just to my place. Just come, come over right now. Grant? We're in big trouble. Must be Phil, campaign manager. Yeah, that's right. What what's going on? Let's take a seat. You're aware that in the wake of 9-11, any breach of security must be taken seriously, especially as it pertains to government buildings. You know who might have access to your campaign materials? Specifically your posters and signs. Well, yeah, well, I, I I keep some in my car, the rest are at my house. Are there any unaccounted for? Um, uh, some of the volunteers may have a few. Is that a bear suit? Um, yes. Where were you last night? He was with me. We were at a bar celebrating my win in the primaries. There was at least a hundred witnesses. What happened? There was a break-in at City Hall. We're still reviewing the security tapes. Someone entered the office of Councilman MacGyver and plastered it with signs and posters of Mr. Cogswell here. <laughs> you think a class two felony is funny? No, no, sir. Call, call the ACLU. Call them, Phil, now. Grant, they don't defend against breaking an enemy. Be, be honest, Phil. Do, do you know who did this? Wayne. It has to be Wayne. Are you sure? He was the only one that has the signs. I put him in charge of finding places to hang. By himself? Hey, what? the signage stuff was never quite legal to begin yeah, with. Yeah, this is this is way beyond sticking signs on a highway. Where the hell were you last night? Ruining my life. What? Nothing. Emily left. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I lost my mind and... You, you, you gotta get your mind back. All right? I know that... I know, I know you're, you're hurting right now, but you, you, you gotta find a way to fix this. Just fix it, fix it, Phil. Shit. Do they know it was us? It's, it's just a prank, it's just, it's just supposed to be funny. Shit. Shit. Guys, keep, keep your voices down, okay? And no, they don't know it was you, but they're gonna find out, okay? 
They have a list of everyone working with the campaign, so expect a visit from the FBI. They're going over the security tapes right this second. Look, look how smart were you guys about this, huh? Did, did anybody see you? We're firing you from the campaign. What the fuck, man? Then they're gonna know that it was us that did that shit. We did it for you, you know what I mean? Like we did it for Grant, for the campaign. Like, it's not fair. It's just a prank. You know, it's, 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 it's well, supposed to be funny. Maybe three weeks ago, it would have been. But now... You can't do this, man. You can't fucking do this. I have to. Or you'll take Grant down with you. That's politics. We are launching our own investigation into the matter. I, 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 until then, I cannot comment any further. Y yes. No. I don't know, I'm sorry. Grant Hang Carr. it up. Hang it, hang it up. Hang, let it go. Bastard, lying, fucking, manipulative yeah. bastard. Coswell, who made it past yesterday's primary and into the general election for MacGyver's seat on city council, is known for running a reckless campaign. FBI and local officials, however, believe that the break-in was committed... Actually, it's a relief. That isn't why I called. But be honest, Phil, I mean, what if he had been elected? He, he knows nothing of, of teamwork or consensus building. I mean, any of the things that make up a real politician would have blown up in our faces. I, I don't care about our faces, Claire. I, I care about what happened with, with us last night. Yeah. I, I wasn't myself, okay? I, I, um, I have a girlfriend who I, who I love. Of course you do. I didn't, I didn't even know what I was doing last night. Who does? You know what, forget it. You know what they say about uh, bedfellows and politics. Here's my list. 
for when I'm elected, things that I'm gonna compromise on and things I'm gonna fight for. I'm trying to get a handle on, on, on what I can really do on the council, you know, think pragmatically here. It's time to face the reality of this, Phil, because I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna grow up. Okay, what brought this on? A dream. I, I was at the top of a building, a tall, tall building, and I jumped. The, the sidewalk rushing in on me, and I knew that I was dead. I knew it was the end for me. And just as I was about to hit the concrete, right at that last second, I look up toward the sky one last time. And suddenly, I was flying. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was like an omen, man, an omen of hope and possibility. And I knew as clear as the mountains and the sky we're going to win this thing, Phil, and we're going to win it big. All right, Grant, let's go. Many are calling your campaign overly militant. You have sued the city. Um, someone on your staff has vandalized City Hall. And this is all in an effort to oust the only major African-American representative we have in Seattle. Well? I can't be black if that's what you're asking. But the real question should be, can my opponent give you a better Seattle than I can? He likes to call me a single issue candidate, but what he doesn't realize is that I've carefully analyzed the situation and the single best way to bring real change to Seattle is with the monorail. It will unify us, rich and poor. It will diminish pollution because it runs on electricity. It'll enhance the neighborhoods that it sails over because it's it's beautiful. And and once that is finished, then I'll get back in to what needs to be crowded. Really, it's all fine and good to have a dream, Grant, and to attack those of us who have been in the trenches for years trying to do good by this city. But we are trying to build a mass transportation system, and we're trying to do it in the real world. The oh, uh, the the real world. <laughs> That's what you call it, where, where hardworking poor people are walled off from the good jobs downtown because they don't have a car, where, no, where low-income housing is demolished so the big boys can build a life-size train set, or, or a highway that runs over the water that'll dump enough muck to sterilize every variation of salmon for 200 miles. No, I'm sorry, Mr. MacGyver, that's not the real world that I live in. And, and, and if somebody wants to call me uh, militant for speaking the way I do, then I'll take it as a compliment. Well, Mr. I, um, God, frankly, I don't know how to respond to that. I have been fighting body and soul for this city for 15 years. I'll stand on my record. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're almost out of time as it is. I'm going to give you each 20 seconds. What is it that you want the voters to know? Mr. Cogswell. I'm a grassroots activist. My opponent is running an insider campaign. He's got a political consultant and a, and a, and a, and a PR team and a host of lobbyists. So uh, please come out and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Always vote. And we need volunteers. And, and, and we need money because my opponent is also outspending me 10 to 1 because he's getting the big $600 contributions that he voted in to raise the contribution limit. Councilman McIver, you have 20 seconds as well to wrap this up. You know, Tate, I... I love this city. I've given my life to it. All right. Uh, well, it is... Richard McIver and Grant Cogswell, uh, they are running in a race that is just too close to call for city council position number eight. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back with two more candidates for another position here on weekday on KUOW. intestines. He, he couldn't even find his own asshole. Did you hear what he said when I told Why him? Why don't you shake his hand? He's the bad guy, Phil. You don't shake hands with the bad guy. 
and we're the we're the good guys. Yeah, of course. Why? Why? Because we we, we sued the city, broke into offices, fund 9/11 our way, and now we're going to beat the big bad black guy. Why don't you shake his hand? Buddy, listen. I want an answer. I told you my answer. That's not good enough. That's not good enough because what happens? What happens if we do win? Huh? What, what, what are you, you going to do then? You're going to insult your way into getting a monorail built? Wearing a polar bear outfit threatening to jump off a bridge if you don't get your way? Fuck it. I've been waiting for hey, great, great, great. That's you great news from Queen Anne. Wait, 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 no, no, please. Oh, God. Mr. Campbell? Yes. I know it's hard, no. hard but you know okay. it will make you on time. Yeah. If we don't talk, I won't mind. Yeah, it's the only way. Sir. I was surprised. Me too. <laughs> Have a seat. So what's so important other than getting to the voting booth tomorrow? <clears throat> well, we... It's a campaign. We never apologized for the break-in. We spun it, but we didn't say we were sorry. I'd say that was politics. I guess. Besides, kids do what they do. Lord knows mine did. <laughs> Grant should have shaken your hand. I'd say that was politics, too. And that makes it right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe sometimes there are things more important than simply being right or wrong. How do you feel about being his proxy? Yeah, let, I need all 30,000 names recontacted before 10 p.m. tonight. Yes, players, look, just do it.
guys. 4,000 names left. We're gonna make this. 4,000 names left. We will make this. Oh, dear God. If I gotta talk to one more special interest nut job wanting the law protecting their leg hair. This is Grant Cogswell? Guys, shh, shh, shut up. Wow. Yes, uh, thank you, sir. I'd appreciate that very much. I would enjoy that. I would. I think some good might come of that too, yes. Yes. For everyone. Okay. Who was that? Grant. What's going on? It was MacGyver. What? He's not pressing charges. He had the city council write a letter to the FBI. Wayne's off the hook. We all are. <clears throat> he wants to drive me to the polls tomorrow to vote. Take me out for drinks afterwards. Whoa, 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 whoa. In his car? You're gonna drive in his car? No, no, it's, it's a setup, man. We can't do this. Do you know what's gonna happen if they photograph you coming out of your opponent's car? And at least take my bike, man. We can't contaminate our message like this at the just, very last just, minute. Everybody keep working. Or does anybody have a skateboard? We, we, you can't. You're the public transportation candidate. He's here. He's here. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna go vote now. Yeah. Uh, have you guys all voted? Yeah. Vote for me, obviously. Wow. Oh. 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 Uh, wow. Can you even got a puppy? <laughs> she's cute. Wait, no, no, don't, oh, don't. Sh see. Shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, just to hold her there. Yeah, yeah. It's a submissive urination problem. Is she walking you in there? Huh? Uh, sorry. Here, let me. Yeah, I got it. So, what brings you here? 
could you repeat the question? No, I, I, I just, um, I wanted to make sure you'd voted. Is today the election? I'm kidding. <laughs> It's gonna be close. Yeah, I heard. Uh, your polling location is uh, is a two two three Roy. It's a uh, it's a brick building. Enter on the right side and, and uh, don't vote your conscience. I didn't. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you look like a Bible salesman. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Grant Cogswell for City Council. You just wait for the next number. Fluctuation! Fluctuation! Right. That's all right. Uh, well, the next what, what, one has what, to go what, up, what, Phil. The next one has to go up. You just wait for the next number. Just wait. What's the next number? What's the next number? What's the next number? tonight 
What does it say? What's the what? It does appear that all of the city council seats will remain in the hands of the incumbents. As for the mayor's race, this was supposed to call, but it's 30 votes. Like Still, we can do this. 30 votes! 30 votes! 30 votes! 30 votes! 30 votes! Everyone! 30 votes! They're gonna revise the numbers. Like, remember what happened with Bush and they then it was went to court and the whole. Every, wait, everybody, wait, wait. Hold on. There's still, the, there's still the absentee ballots, right? Absentee ballots. Who wasn't absent from school they're at least the, they're, once, they're right? The absentee yeah. ballots. They, they, they are the smartest voters out there. Smartest voters out there. They know how to mail shit. We're gonna they're have thinking. those votes. It's only 30 yes. votes, you guys. We could win this. We're gonna win this. Yeah. And and and, and while we wait to to hear the the final the victory, I, 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 the victory I'll, announcement for us, I, I would like to do some of my Grand Cogswell impressions. Oh, Richard McIver. Richard McIver has flushed Seattle down the toilet, and, and, and he doesn't even know it, folks. And, and, and I hate these shoes. I hate these shoes. I, I, I need better art support. I hate these shoes. We have just begun. Polar bear. Polar bear. to contend with this. Forty-eight percent! Do you know what that means? It means that with the trees and the rain, Seattle! Seattle! And we will not sleep, not today, not yesterday, not a hundred years from now, because we've woken them up out of their hibernation. Oh! And, and, and that's why, uh, first and foremost, I gotta thank one son of a bitch. One son of a bitch above all else. And that's my, my polar bear tamer extraordinaire. Get up here. Sleep. 